Snow White and the Seven Dwarves Once upon a time, in a kingdom by the sea, a beautiful princess was born. Her mother died when the princess was still just a baby. But several, after several years, the king married again. However, the woman he chose as his bride was very different from Snow White's mother. The new queen was wicked and vain. She cared nothing but her own beauty. Every morning, the queen would visit her magic mirror and ask the same question. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest one of all? The mirror replied, you, my queen, are the fairest one of all. For years, the mirror gave the same answer to the queen's question. But then one day, the queen visited the mirror and asked the usual question. This time, however, she received a different answer. You, my queen, have a beauty quite rare. But Snow White is a thousand times more fair. Mad with jealousy, the queen sent for the royal huntsman. She ordered him to take Snow White into the forest and kill her at once. Fearing for his own life, the huntsman took Snow White into the woods. When she looked up at him with her gentle eyes full of trust, the huntsman could not bring himself to carry out the queen's order. Instead, he left Snow White in the forest and warned her to never return to the castle. The sky grew dark as Snow White wandered deep into the forest. She was terribly frightened but continued onward. Finally, Snow White found herself in a clearing beside a tiny cottage. She knocked, but there was no answer, so she peeked inside. The cottage was cozy but untidy. Perhaps if I tidy this little cottage, she thought, no one would mind if I have a bit of dinner and warm myself by the fire. Snow White cleaned the cottage until it shone. Only then did she take a bit of bread. She sat down on one of the beds to wait for someone to come home. Snow White was so tired and the bed was so cozy that she soon fell fast asleep. Sometime later, Snow White awoke to find herself surrounded by seven kind faces. These seven dwarfs, as they happened to be, welcomed her to their cottage and asked them how she had found their home. Snow White told the dwarves about the evil queen and her flight through the dark forest. The dwarves took pity on Snow White and invited her to stay with them. Here's the seven dwarves. At the, at the castle, the evil queen gazed into her mirror and asked, Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest one of all? The mirror replied, You, my queen, have a beauty quite rare. But beyond the great hill where the seven dwarfs dwell, Snow White is thriving, and this I must tell. Within this realm, she is a thousand times more fair. The queen flew into a rage and immediately set out to find Snow White. Then she disguised herself as a poor seamstress, calling out, Gowns for sale! Snow White invited the seamstress into the cottage, where she tried on one of the dresses. The queen pulled the laces so tight that Snow White could not breathe and fell to the floor. The dwarves came home that evening to find Snow White lying motionless on the ground. They quickly cut the laces that stifled her, and to their great relief, she breathed deeply and opened her eyes. That night, the queen triumphantly asked her mirror, Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest one of all? The mirror replied with the same answer, Snow White was fairer than the queen. Again in a rage, the angry queen wasted no time. She filled the teeth of her prettiest comb with a deadly poison. Then the queen disguised herself as a peddler and set out through the woods to the little cottage. 
Snow White welcomed the peddler into the cottage. The queen selected the most beautiful comb and gently brushed Snow White's long black hair. The moment the comb touched her head, Snow White fell to the ground. When the dwarves returned home, they found Snow White on the floor. As they carried her to bed, the poisoned comb fell from her hair. Snow White was revived. The queen returned to her mirror and said, Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest one of all? This time the mirror answered simply, Snow White is the fairest. Yet again, shaking with fury, the queen had another plan. She plucked an apple from the orchard and poisoned it. Then, disguised as a poor farmer woman, she set off. Apples for sale, the queen called out. These are the reddest and ripest apples in the kingdom. Hearing the calls of the poor farmer woman, Snow White couldn't resist. She tried one of the apples. She took one bite and fell to the ground. The queen smiled and slipped off into the woods filled with satisfaction. This time when the dwarves returned home, they could do nothing to wake Snow White. The dwarves wept for a long time before placing Snow White on a soft bed of flowers. They all believed that they would discover a way to revive Snow White, so they made sure that she had a comfortable bed to lie on as she dreamed sweetly in her deep sleep. It's the casket. One day, a handsome prince rode through the forest and saw Snow White sleeping. The dwarves told the prince about all that happened. As the prince sat and listened, he stared at the beautiful Snow White. She was so beautiful, he couldn't explain it, but he had to give her a kiss. No sooner did his lips leave hers than Snow White's eyes fluttered open, and she smiled and looked up at the dashing prince. The curse was broken. A heartfelt kiss was all that was needed to break the queen's evil spell. Within minutes, the prince asked Snow White to be his bride. She agreed happily. A ceremony took place at the edge of the forest. The evil queen was seen lurking, but she quickly turned and disappeared under the forest, never to be heard from again. Snow White and her prince, however, lived happily ever after. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.